Hey everybody, Just Sports with John. Today, going to continue the Greatest of the Goats series. And today I'm going to be bringing you the greatest uh, in my lifetime of the Goats of Baseball. So, a little caveat before we start. Baseball was my first sport that I remember ever playing. I uh, played it when I was a little kid and all that. And for me, this is, Major League Baseball is a very touchy subject. Um, I played it clean. I could have been a really good player had I stuck with it. I uh, decided not to switch sports, but I always played it clean and I've seen people cheat in sport and was playing against people who did cheat in sport. So for me, I'm sorry, but I've got to not include the people with steroids for this one, for the one in my lifetime. Eventually when I do a bigger series, I probably will take that into account, but for this series, I'm not including anybody in that steroid era. So. That's going to leave a lot of people out. You're not going to hear Barry Bonds on this list, McGuire, Sammy Sosa, uh, Roger Clemens, any of that. Um, that. So that being considered, the three that I came up with are Greg Maddox, Ken Griffey Jr., and Ricky Henderson. It was really tough for me to not pick Ken Griffey Jr., uh, I, you know, he was definitely one of the ones that, you know, like Barry Bonds and other people who hit really well and um, probably could have continued to go up in the records, had a little bit shorter career. Um, but, you know, I really respect what he was able to do. And I, I definitely think he's in some of the discussion in terms of some of the greatest players in baseball. Uh, but when I look at Ricky Henderson and Greg Maddox, um, those two just have a lot more accomplishments and the impact on baseball. Part of me really wants to pick Greg Maddox. I think he, man, you know, there was a time when like, you know, all his strikeouts and all his um, accomplishments and pitching just were phenomenal. And he wasn't that bad of a hitter. Um, so I really, really wanted to pick him. But I think Ricky Henderson and me just kind of like Jerry Rice in NFL kind of kind of gets unnoticed and it's really unfair I mean you know this guy was a leadoff hitter so if you understand baseball you understand that leadoff hitter is extremely important because it it gets you to get more runs in letting you beat the other team so you know and not only that but then Ricky Henderson stealing bases I haven't seen anybody else since be able to do that and then there was a time where Ricky Henderson I think for I want to say about five years was actually one of the better power hitters in Major League Baseball. So between how much he could get on base, his base dealing, his run scored, um, you know, being a capable defensive player, um, you know, uh, when he's not hitting, I just that to me is kind of the essence of baseball is being able to to do all these multiple things and do them well. And then having that unique sense of stealing bases, which was that added fire that you just don't see out of players today, really. So for me, I'm going to go Ricky Henderson. It's really close for me. Uh, not picking Greg Maddox, but I'm going to go with Ricky Henderson and tailing everything that he did for the sport. So I know there could be a lot of disagreement on this, and it, but again, keep in mind, I am not including people from the steroid era. So that being said, I'm picking Ricky Henderson for my greatest of the goats in baseball in my lifetime. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And the next topic I'll be doing is the NHL. So stay tuned for that. And you guys have a good one. Bye.